Hey everybody, welcome to this week's energy update. Happy Monday. I tried to do this on Saturday and I think I was just not grounded or something because <laughs> things were just weird on Saturday. So I'm back to do um, this week's energy update. It's going to be, um, I'm going to do a channeling for this one and we'll just see what comes through. I don't want to delay this um, any longer. So um, let's just get grounded in our bodies right now and just allow yourself to sink into your body and feel whatever's going on. There's been a lot of energies swirling around this week. And what I'm finding is it's just important to just be present and just bring your attention back to your breath and just focus on inhaling through your nose and exhaling through your mouth and see if you can connect the inhale to the exhale so that there's no disconnect in between the breaths. There's no pause in between the breaths. And just notice as you're doing this how you're going deeper into your body and your mind is slowly quieting. Because as you control your breath, you control your mind. And you slow yourself down to a point where you can begin to listen to the wisdom that's within you. So just allow yourself to have an open mind and heart as we begin this channeling. And whatever guidance or insights that you receive through this, just take it in and allow it to be there. Dear ones, we are excited to be here with you. It is an important time in your evolution because it is one where you are being called to take your power back, to take all of yourself back to you. And in this time of heightened energy, of heightened intentions that are global, it is important that each and every one of you Remain grounded within your own truth, within your own center, within your own beingness. And this can only occur when you take the time to go within yourself, to pause and to go within yourself. And that is the power of what we are doing with you now, is you are able to regain your energy center. And this is something that is not just important for this week. It is important for all of time. And so when we call these energy updates each and every week, really what we are doing is allowing you a space to come back to yourself and to gain some continuity in your life. Something that is always remaining stagnant, which is the time in which you show up for yourself. That is what we are seeking to do in this time with you. There are some powerful things in which you can do in order to remain grounded and centered. You have been told about the law of attraction, about the power of your thoughts, about the power of your mind, and the power of intention. And these are all beautiful things. Of course. But what is more important 
is being able to be in this present moment, fully in this moment, and allow yourself to notice what you are noticing in that moment, whether it be emotions or whether it be peace. And not even just to understand that emotion at its broadest, most general sense, but also, also to be able to understand the quality and quantity of it the flavor of it. In this time you are being asked to not only understand your emotions and be able to label it as fear or as judgment or as passion or of interest or of love or of curiosity, but to be able to understand the quality and quantity and flavor of it. And so if you are in fear, to feel the body's chemistry as it, as it changes as you introduce that thought which is of fear. And what you will find is your body changes, the physical sensations within your body changes. So that is important to remember. That is important. Because as you become more in tune with this physical structure, this physical technology, then your receptors open and you begin to unlock the wisdom, the wisdom center that is deep within this physical body. It is not happening outside of you. It is not happening on the outside of your consciousness. It's happening within your physical structure. There is a body chemistry that is happening there. And because your energy is fluctuating much more frequently and with much more intensity as it changes, it is important to be more aware of what you are doing to your physical structure at that moment, at that time. And if it is not helpful for you, then to be able to be aware of that, it is not to change a thought that is not pleasant to you. Because anything that you are focusing upon magnifies. And you know about that. You know about the law of attraction, which is one of the most important, powerful, and pertinent laws in your universe. But as we said, what is more important is your observation of your feeling, whether it is internal or external. The more that you can understand how you, how you work, how your physical structure works, how your body reacts to your emotions, then you can understand outside of you. You can understand your relationship to those around you in a more powerful way. But unless you understand yourself, you will not understand others. It will be a mystery to you. You will not be able to understand how to be compassionate of others or how to be understanding others even when they are not speaking to you. You are being called to use more of your, what you would call sixth sense perception. Instead of just what others are saying or what you are saying out loud to be able to understand energy. Understanding the energy of you is much more important now than ever. And as we said, it starts with being able to understand your own emotional scale, your own emotional patterns, and how that affects your body's chemistry. Because we are talking mostly about your physical body, because your physical body is the mechanism in which keeps you open to source energy, to the higher piece of you.
And if this is not cleared out, if this is not remaining open and receptive, then you're going to feel much more alone and much more disconnected. So what you can do, not only pay more attention to what you are thinking, but also what you are putting into your physical body. And that has to do with food, substances, and also of others around you, the energies in which you allow to be interacting with your own. Because as the veil is also disintegrating more and more between your connection to source energy, it is also becoming more and more thin to those around you, other fellow human beings. And also beings of other galaxies and sources. And so, this is why your energy awareness of yourself is much, much more important in these times. And so, we will give you much more lessons on this and much more practices in which you can help yourself to be more aware of this so that when you become more advanced at this, you will be better at your job. And by job, we are talking about not what you are doing to make money, but your earthly job which is to be of service, and each and every one of you are here to be of service. So just take a deep breath into that space. And even notice, as we are speaking to you, because it is in energetic communication, just notice how your body's chemistry has even changed now. Notice how there is a piece of you that can recognize this as truth in some way, in some form, in some fashion for you. Notice how there are pieces of you which have opened up. And maybe this is something that you will discover in a later time. But it is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful gift. Not just these words that we are sharing with you now, but the receptivity in which humanity now has to be able to give much, much more information to you and in a more pure way than ever before, in a more open way than ever before. So it is time for you to allow yourself to go deeper, to be able to access more of yourself that is there waiting for you. It is only just the beginning. Yes, indeed. So just allow yourself to bring your focus back to your heart center. And just visualize a golden sun there, shining brightly in your heart center. And then allow this golden sun to slowly make its way down to the point deep in behind your belly button. And 
and allow this golden sun to begin spinning in a clockwise direction. Spinning, 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 getting faster and getting smaller. And spinning faster and getting smaller until it reaches the size of a small energy pill and just tucks itself deep in behind your belly button. And just remember that this seed, this energy pill, is there for you always, and you can go back to that to regain this sense of connectedness and empowerment and groundedness whenever you need it. So that's the message of today. Thank you for joining and being with me live here. Um, it's interesting that um, what came through today, it feels like there's much more coming on that train. <laughs> um, but I hope that you could feel that in some way and understand that in some way in your own way. Um, I'm very, <laughs> I'm not good at talking after I do this. <laughs> so I'm just going to say thank you for coming in and joining me in this live stream. And I will be back next week for our next energy update. And also check out my YouTube channel. I have something really exciting to share with you guys, which I will be announcing later today on YouTube. So be sure to check that out and subscribe and make sure to get notifications in this um, on this page, on my author page, so that when I do go live in the future, you will be able to get updates. Um, and be notified when I go live so that you don't miss out. So thanks so much for joining, and I'll see you guys next week.